Darren here to do a manufacturer review. What the heck does that mean? Because usually I'm reviewing a specific product from a manufacturer. Well, in this case, I'm going to review the manufacturer as a whole, which is usually nonsensical because how can you do that when manufacturers can make a good product and then a bad product and all the such? Well, this company called Wasabe Power, they just make drop-in replacement batteries. So let's go over what kind of batteries there are and what drop-in means. So the first type of battery is the OEM battery or e original, yeah, original equipment manufacturer battery. All that means is from Canon, Panasonic, or whoever made your camera. Then we have the professional variants from companies such as Anton Bauer. These are external batteries, meaning you're gonna have to plug them into your camera's power port or use a dummy adapter. And it goes to, uh, with a cable to the battery, which is usually attached to a rig. Those are usually higher capacity, more expensive, and all the such. Then the final type, which is what we're looking at today, after I pick up the right one, is the drop-in replacement. It's basically meant to be a copy of the OEM battery. It's meant to plug in the same, act the same, power the same, all that good stuff. And these are some considerations, which we'll go over now. So the first thing you're gonna look at when you're looking at these batteries that are drop-in replacements or non-OEM or just third-party batteries is the price. Because if it costs the same as the original one, why bother not why bother buying this in the first place? Just get the original one. So when you talk about the smaller batteries, it's kind of less of an issue because, well, this GoPro battery costs only $18 as it is from GoPro itself. But here's the thing. When you're searching for that on Amazon, you're also gonna notice that a really well-reviewed alternative is the Wasabi Pack. It comes with two batteries, plus a nice little external charger, which GoPro should have given you, but they didn't. And that only cost you $24. So what are you gonna pick? I mean, when you go to the Amazon, when you go to the Amazon, when you go to Amazon, you're gonna notice, well, this is rated good, but these Wasabi batteries are rated really good too from like 200 people. So, okay, and then you'll notice that these actually have a higher milliamp rating. We'll get into that in a second. So, that's not a big deal. You know, $18 versus 24, you get more for 24, but I mean, $18, you're gonna spend that, you know, it's still gonna be spending like 40 bucks, whatever. Not huge deals. But then you look at like these kind of batteries from Canon for you know bigger cameras like the XF series or the C series that this powers. This lasts four hours. Okay, cool. Here's the one from, oh, I wasn't going to capacity just yet. I'm supposed to say this one cost $150. Okay. This one costs $26. And it also has good reviews on Amazon. Some mix, but a lot of good reviews. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's some purists out there that say, okay, you have a $5,000 camera like the C100 here. What's $150? Just buy this. You're going to really trust a $26 battery to your camera? I do agree with them. But in the case of batteries, I've never heard of a battery actually hurting a camera. I mean, unless somebody really messed with it and somehow overvolted the crap out of it and fried the camera. But I, I honestly, I've never actually heard of anything happening. Usually the worst that happens is the battery dies. So as long as you plan on having more power on set than you need, which I always do, it's good practice, yeah, I, I go nuts, you know? And that's the whole point of this review is so you can see whether or not this is a worthwhile brand for you to invest in. So, yeah. Now, let's get into whatever I was gonna talk about. Let's talk about capacity. Because this battery, obviously, you know, costs as much as it does, and it claims 4,900 milliamp hours. Milliamp hours just basically means how much juice it's got. And the higher the number, the more juice it has. So this one at 4,900 lasts about four hours. This one claims to have 8,500 milliamp hours. Should last longer, right? Okay, maybe. Here comes the dirty little secret of third-party batteries. They're not always, how should I put it, accurate or maybe not honest about their milliamp hour ratings. Either way, I completely ignore these numbers, even though it's bigger, it's, yeah, okay, it should last longer. I just go by what the practice has, you know, how long it lasts in practice. And this one, I never actually measured it, but it definitely lasts me at least four hours. So at least the same as this. And that's what I plan on. I don't plan on it lasting longer. Why don't I care about it lasting as long as it claims it really should? Well, because it's a third party battery. You know, I'm not, okay, whatever it is, it is. And if it gets me good use, especially if it gets me four hours for $26, then I'm completely fine with that. Let's pick that up again. See, because there's a little X on here. 
Well, that's a good transition point for the reliability factor of third-party batteries, which let me get out of the way that you should never, ever, ever buy non-branded batteries. They're all over eBay. They're just generic. They even say generic on them. Never buy those because who's going to honor the warranty? You're going to contact the eBay, eBay, eBay? the eBay seller? If you don't have a brand name attached to it, how do you rack up any reliability or disreliability? This is on Amazon, and there's plenty of people that reviewed it. I mean, in terms of capacity and the ratings, I mean, the GoPro one, it's rated at a little higher capacity, but there's people on Amazon that say, oh, it lasts longer, okay, great. There's some people that say it lasts less time, okay, great. There's some people that say it lasts exactly the same. All I care is that it's in the ballpark. But how are you supposed to know those things unless it could be on sites like Amazon where people can review it? Makes no sense with generics. I know there's, I, I think there are some generics on Amazon, but how do you know it's the same generic as from another site? You can't. So you always want to buy from a brand name. That's why we're reviewing Wasabi. But about that little X I put on there. That is the X of death because this is a dead battery. Yes, that's right. A battery that I bought from them did die. Why am I not displeased about that? Well, I am displeased, but see, when it died, about three months after I've been using it, it was working fine, by the way, and it just developed some weird charge issues and I had to deem it completely unreliable. So I contacted the manufacturer. They're called Blue Nook, and I think they're out in California. Although, of course, you know, they make these things, they order these things from China. Although it does say they make it from premium cells from Japan. Sounds fancy. But anyways, so I contacted them and said, yeah, so it's been like three months. Here's my Amazon order number. And it's been giving these weird issues. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, so some people have had those issues. We'll send you a new one. That's, that's, that's happy customer face right there. Like, happy customer. Because they stood behind the product. That's all I ask for is, you know, if something goes wrong, if it's defective, something's wrong with it, either refund me or replace it. No reason to be unhappy. So that's why I'm okay with this dying. Because I'll, one of the other reasons I'm okay with it dying because I have a certain practice, like I mentioned on set. I always plan for having at least 50% more power than I really need for that particular shoot, especially when I'm shooting for like a paid client. And here's another trick. Say you have, you know, your batteries. You got one OEM battery or however many, and you've got your third-party batteries. Use the third-party batteries first when you're shooting. Why is this? Well, say you use this first and drained it out, and then you got only your third-party battery left. You plug it in and it dies. Okay, it's dead. Now you have zero battery power. What do you do? At least if you use this first and it died, then you still have, well, say you're four hours to figure out how to get another battery. Make some calls, stop at a store. You're not dead in the water. So I never fully trust a lot of products, especially if it's from a third party manufacturer. It would be nice if you could. And I do have a lot of faith in these manufacturers, even though occasionally shit does happen. So, but I'm always coming up with contingency plans to make sure that I don't get dead in the water because of it. So that's the little tip is use the third party battery first. Always have at least one couple hour battery for OEM ready to go. And that pretty much sums it all up. So yeah, shit does happen, but we're kind of, com we're not comparing these really to the OEM batteries, which I should mention, you know, like I said, they're supposed to do everything the same as the OEM battery, but Take, for instance, this on the C100. I haven't tried on the XF series or anything else. But these ones, well, they've got the feature of a little push button. This does not have that. Brings the cost down. And then the battery meters on the camera. See, when you're using the OEM battery, you've got, you get the actual uh, numbers, the actual minutes. That's the word I was looking for. You get the minute reading, down to the minute, which is great, very predictable. These, you don't get that, but you still get that little four bar battery indicator for like it's a zero, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So you can figure, okay, that breaks down to however many hours per block, or if it's inconsistent, all you gotta know is when you get to one battery bar, swap it out. It's only $26. Buy an extra one, just always swap out at the last battery bar. I've used it plenty to no battery bars where it's flashing red, and even flashing red means you got a couple minutes left. So. As long as you know to plan for that and you're not shooting, say, a really long event where you're not allowed to swap out, you gotta keep it recording, plan ahead. That's all you really gotta do. And that pretty much sums up what you need to look for in these batteries. And yes, I am perfectly happy to recommend the Wasabi brand. They do offer a nice cost. They do offer a product that does seem to be reliable. I've looked at a good number of the Amazon reviews. As you can see, I'll link you and see just how many good reviews they've gotten. And it's a lot, but there aren't without negative reviews because again, 
shit does happen. But it's good to know that when you buy it from, a, it's good to know that this company will, or at least in my case, they did stand behind their product and make it right. So that is my review of the Wathabe brand. I'm sorry for racism. Was it racist? I don't know. Wathabe. Uh. Yeah, I guess close enough to racism, but I am just going to end right there before I dig myself a bigger hole. Wasabi brand, I do recommend them. They're from Blue Nook. Find them on Amazon, and I'm Darren. Enjoy.